My name is Alan Hart and today I'm doing Day in the Life of a Plumber and I'm doing flushing a heating system. There's different ways of flushing a heating system. On this particular job, um, first of all what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a magma cleanse, in which I'll show you that. And I'm going to do a power flush as well, that's not going to be in today's video. Um, but I really want to make sure this system is, is as clean as possible. Um, so. First thing I'm going to do is set this up and, and I'll show you how it works. So let's have a look now. I've made it fairly easy for me to do a flush on this system. I've installed an Amiga filter, so that's a Fernox Amiga filter. So all I need to do is turn the valves off, disconnect the filter and then I've got an adapter. An adapter that connects connects on to the filter, connects onto the hoses, and then connects onto the magna cleanse. So I'll do that now. So first of all, I'm just going to turn these valves off on the filter. I'm going to open open the drain off, drain the filter down. Remove the filter, get my adapter, have a look which pipe is the return, the, the one that comes back, which is this one, which is this one in the middle, which is this one here. And the reason we need to know that goes on nice and easy. The reason we need to know that on the filter there's an arrow there. I don't know if you can see that but that just shows you which way the pipes need to go so this one here would go on the bottom. this one here onto this side again very easy connect this onto here and then we're going to check the filter just check that it's clean I'm going to put some chemicals in here so I'm just going to go get some chemicals out of that. I'll just do that now. When it comes to chemicals, there's various different brands. So we've got Fernox Cleaner. You can have F3 or F5, depending on how bad the system is. I've been informed that F3 and F5 is the same product, but F3, uh, F5 is just two lots of F3. I don't know if that's true or not. And then we've got the AD. The early chemicals, which is I'm going to use these today, I've not, I've no real preference on the AD or the Fernox. I'm happy to use either product. So we've just put the cleaner in. And now we'll put the magnets back on. Open the valves on the filter near the boiler and then we'll fill this up then and check it for leaks and then we'll start flushing. I'm just going to open the valves now near the boiler just make sure we've no leaks. Just open the valve 
on the filter underneath as well. If you didn't have this adapter, you could make up some other connections. It may be that um, when you get the Magna Cleanse, when you get the Magna Cleanse filter, you can buy a kit and it connects to different different filters. So now we'll flush this out now. I've turned the boiler on now. I don't know if you could see that then, but you can see bits, bits of muck coming back from heating system. And they're going into that filter, but they're not coming out the other side. So you get your big bits. At the moment, I've just got the heating on. So it's only going around the heating. I'm gonna leave this now for a couple of hours flushing and I'm gonna do other things. So I'm gonna finish off the lagging and put some boards down and things like that. So I'll come back to this shortly. So I've put it on now. I'm gonna go around, open all the radiator valves and then I'm just gonna let the chemicals flush around for a few hours. I'm not in no rush with this flushing because I've got other other things that I can do on the job. So I can just connect this up, leave it for a few hours, and then after that, I'll go around and I'll turn some of the radiators on and off and go through each individual radiator um, so that we can flush out as much as possible on the job. So, yeah. I'm just gonna go thank my cameraman today. How are you doing, Luke? Fine. Luke's been helping us in school holidays. He's just come in getting some experience and he's been helping me. He's been doing a bit of filming. Hence the reason we've been doing a few more videos, haven't we, Luke? Yeah. <laughs> the heating's been on now for about two hours. Maybe a bit more than that. Um, and it's been all running round, just with all the valves fully open. Now, what I'm going to do is, I've been upstairs and I've closed all the valves down upstairs. And I'm just closing... I'm closing all the lock seals on all the radiators apart from one radiator. I'll leave one radiator open and then all the flow from the system will go around that one radiator. And then what you can do, you can have, um, with the Magna Cleanse, you can get a, um, a vibro, vibro clean or something like that and you, and you vibrate the radiator. Um, I don't use that anymore. I, I did have one, but mine snapped, so I don't I don't use that anymore. Um, but what we'll do, as I say, we'll let all the chemicals go through one radiator, check that radiator, make sure it's working nice, and then once that's working fine, we'll go to the next radiator. We'll open the next radiator. So we'll open the next radiator before we've closed the previous one. Once we've opened the radiator, we'll then go back to the, the first radiator, close that one off, and then we'll, the second radiator then, we'll do that and make sure that that's all nice and warm and clean. And then we'll go all the way around the system doing one radiator at a time, like that. I've started with this radiator. This is the one, this is furthest away from the boiler on the heating system. I've also removed the TRV because the TRV, once once it gets warm in here, the TRV can close slightly and reduce the flow. The bottom of this radiator at the moment, I haven't got my thermal imaging camera, so I can't show you, but the bottom here is a lot cooler than the top. So we need to flush all this flush all this out and get all this so it's working well before we move on to the next one it's a bit hard to see on the video but one of these pipes is slightly darker than the other this one's slightly darker as the muck's going in uh, one thing to point out in the house with the carpets all the carpets have been removed so that's why i haven't put any dust sheets down this radiator now, so this is the first radiator that we've been working on. This is very, very warm now from top to bottom. And now we're going to move on to the next radiator. So the next radiator is here. So as I said before, I'll open both sides of this radiator. Open the, uh, take the TRV off, open the lock shield fully. 
and then we'll go back to this one turn this one off and then we'll continually go around the system doing that after we've done this we'll then need to balance it all as well but that'll be that'll be for a different video maybe right so i've done all the flushing now i've flushed every radiator all the system now is working really well it's taken about probably about seven hours to flush all this system with the filter um so now what i'm going to do i'm going to drain this down take this off and i'm going to do a mains flush on the system as well i need to get all the chemicals out of the system now you wouldn't want to leave the cleaner in the system so what you need to do really is fill the system up run it drain it down fill it drain it drain it down, etc, etc, and get as much of the cleaner or all of the cleaner out of the system. As I say, you don't want to leave any of the, the cleaner in the system. If we just have a look inside the magna clay now. That's the sludge that it's got out. So system, system wasn't that bad really, to be honest. but. As I say with this, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do a mains flush and make the system as clean as possible. There's lots of different ways that you can get or flush the mucky water out of the system now. And I've opened the filling loop fully, so cold water is going in down the return, it's going round the filter, it's going round all the system, and then it's coming back to here on the floor before it goes back into the boiler. I've isolated the boiler so when it's filling here it's not coming just out of here. It's going all the way around the system and then we're flushing it out as much as we can. You could also use the filter, it just depends on the system but what you're trying to do is get all your chemicals out of the system now. I've got a water test kit now so I can do a water sample. Just got a little test bottle here. Put a bit of water in there, look. There. And now what we'll do, we'll test this. So we've got pH test strips. And if we have a look on the test strips, I've dipped this already. And then we need to match it on here. And if we look at that, it's somewhere near seven about seven and a bit, seven and a half maybe. And we want it to be somewhere between six and 8.5, depending on the manufacturer's instructions of the boiler. And then we're gonna test, we're gonna test iron in the system as well. And this really, we just want this to be as low as we can. And if we have a look on there, I would say it's about 0 0.1. So that's a good reading. We can also test the copper in the system. So again, just like that. It's a bit hard to focus. And then again, it's got like a chart on it. So you can see. It's a bit hard to see really. Um, I'd say it's somewhere near 0.5 maybe. So that's low, so we know that that's a good reading as well. There's various different tests that you can do with this test kit, but this test kit is, it, it just gives you an idea really. It's, it's, it's very good, it gives you a good idea. If you want full 
good quality results, then obviously you do a water sample and you'd send it off to Fernox or somebody else and, and get the results back. But this test is good enough for me on this job. So what we can do now, we've got cold water going through the system. The system was hot because we've been running it hot and now we've got cold water going through. So we can actually check the bottom of the radiator and we can feel the difference in temperature. So the bottom of the radiator now is, is freezing cold because we've got cold water going through. And we, we could, if we wanted to, do each individual radiator again. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And if you want to subscribe, if you click up here somewhere, and I'll add some more videos, I'll add a video here, and I'll add some videos down here as well. Thanks for watching.